Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, yay! Hey, it's Gabby Gamer here, and I'm back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Tournament Trials and Tribulations with my video C, and it's October 14th, 9 a.m., just to record fan lobby number 4, and Maya. Hey, Nick. Well, what is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Why don't you know this, Nick? Uh, they're having Detective Apney's trial today. Detective Apney? They say they're going to try him as mask to mask. Already? That was fast. Hey, I thought there was only one judge in this town. <laughs> no reason happened to keep getting the same one. Boy, I'd love to see Master Master Trial. I know! Uh, by the way, where's Pearls? Oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. I know you don't like me. Pearls has really got her training lately, huh? Yeah, <laughs> ever since that incident last year. Please! Don't ignore me! Oh, Mr. Delight! Good morning. No one likes me. No one would notice me, even if I killed someone. W which I didn't do, by the way. <laughs> Come on, don't be silly. W wait a sec. You don't mean. You're the murderer? No, 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 I'm just a poor thief. No, wait, that's not right. Uh, a thief can't really be poor. I mean, a thief can be poor for a bad thief. <laughs> now, let's see. According to Mr. Delight... In his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heists. Do you really think there's a connection between the thief and the murder, Nick? It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's take our time like always. I'm afraid that's not an option. October 14th, 10 a.m. District Court, Court number 6. Oh, how are you doing, guys? I'm gonna make some dumb decisions, like always. Because now it's just for the trial, Mr. Wanderlight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. You're ready? Preparations for the last refuge of the week. It is the last show. Okay, settle down, everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Gro. Ugh. He got the judge in the palm of his hand, yet again. One device, simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. I'm afraid I have no idea what the fuck that means, Mr. Godot. Huh, you need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war, but that is exactly why you must be precise in your word. That is all my statement means. You understand now, right? Right, right. Yes, well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. The victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of CB Security. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. However, the time of death was estimated as 1 a.m. at the pre previous day. And that's why a little lost kitten dropped the body. That this lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Very well then, Mr. Godot. Please call your first witness. No. I refuse. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. But the first one is always the best. Um, Mr. Godot, your witness? Okay, let's hear what the defendant Mr. Warren Delight has to say to him for himself. Defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, the defense of any objections? Maybe I'd be able to disadvance having the defense testify, but... I remember when Mia was defending me. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. She put a lot of trust in me back then. I never talked about this until now, because Pete did me just... We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense would allow Mr. Delight to testify. <laughs> You've got guts to fight. Phoenix to fight. 
All right then, Mr. Wandlight, please take the stand. You did it, did you? Yes. What? Uh-uh. No, 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 no! That's not true! Hmm. Look at that. I thought we just had the back of a show us what up. Well, Mr. Delight already looks plenty guilty with that face he's making. And once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Huh. Very good. Now then, can you tell me something? You didn't get bored. Why'd you go to KB Security? Well, I. It's kind of hard to say, boy. I wish you'd go ahead. Now that I said some testimony about what happened. I love testimony. So I became a judge. To testimony and bad decisions. That evening around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letter I got had ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. I am, 1 a.m. Not I am. Shut up. 1 a.m. The exact time of the morning. I was like half the hour. The week get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong break it all. Huh. It's a bitter day, too. Just like my destiny. Oh my fucking god, dude. Shut up. You'd never know that from the way he's chugging it down. I show I your cross examination, if you please. Not even around. We did this already. Yes, we did. Hold this. 1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, that's what my wife said when I was entering the CEO's office. Er, uh, no. Actually, I I'm not really sure. My watch was slow, and my internal... One here. That's the exact time the victim, Mr. Bullock, was murdered, correct? It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. It orders you there? It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've got other blackmail letters, then? Oh, of course. They'd say things like, steal this or take that. Ah, why don't you save those for later, Mr. Delight? Please don't say it anymore. Boy, don't say it anymore! If you want to get that, watch the last video. Press on. So what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said it'd bring $50,000. Money, yeah. A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh, but wait. Why? I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm, I put him pointed indeed. Witness, let's have that add to your testimony. Yes, sir. Huh. A muddy mud skipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. Yeah. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmailer said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask to mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Boulder didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Ms. Delight didn't believe he was mask to mask. That's why I knew they were all just hollow threats.
you need you used to be a security chief for KD security, right? Yes, that's right. Security chief? You? And yeah, a year ago you were fired without notice. Revengeful orb, watch. A perfect motive for murder. What did you say? Hmm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Why? Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well... The world is filled with those who say, have said, I wish I had never asked that. Okay, then I take it back. Defendant, please answer the question. I, well, I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough. So I stole data from the company. Come again. KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Builder found out and I was fired immediately. What? Wish I'd never asked that. I was somehow able to keep a secret and made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to the company is fired as punishment. You'd do well to remember that. He sure told you. So you admit that you stole data from your company, is that correct? Y yes, I'm sorry. Very important fact. Please add to your testimony. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse. Crashed and blew up. It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. Why would you do something like that? Well, for Desi's hobby, what else? Wasting money, huh? It's not a it's not a waste. So, Miss Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even my to think seriously about couples. Please try to stay focused, Mr. White. Hmm, there wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's avoiding something, at least that's what it sounds like to me. Uh oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. We'd better be careful. But if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans. We'll never get close to the truth. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. 
ask more questions. Which one was the question, Tom? I probably can't ask more questions. I'll check. This one. Oh, okay, I guess he has more to say. I'm afraid that reason isn't going to hold up anymore. The victim had no proof the The victim had no proof the defendant was master mask, I can speak. But you were the one who stole company's secrets only one year earlier. Well, but, but that was all over with once I was fired. But it is true that the fact I stole secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there was no reason for me to pay up now, a whole year later. Hmm, is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. Yeah, uh, yes, you would. Mr. Delight, I believe you would have been in considerable trouble if your identity as a company data thief was made public. No. Uh, Mr. Light? What are you trying to do by bullying your young client? Huh. Men are like cotton eats a bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster you grow. That's exactly right. Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. The little lawyer amigo? Yes, now come on, provide some evidence to back up your assertion, Mr. Shaw. Why did Mr. Light want to keep his data stealing secret from going public? Cause his girlfriend. Mr. Delight, what you said now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Of having a certain person find out your secret. A certain person? Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. Ah, but I... Listen to me, my Desi, jeez. Looks like if I sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Mm hmm, Godot. Yes, that's my name. Yes, we know, it's all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Mr. Light stole company's data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, somebody used his dirty little secret in blackmail. And that is how this murder came about. Oh, mm. No, everything is falling neatly into place for him. Don't talk about my Desi like that. Oh, you'll be sorry. Is that a threat? Well, it seems that we've learned a great deal of things so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. Clearly, there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole dead for his wife and killed to protect his secret. Family man who cared just a little bit, a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Mm hmm. What happened at the crime scene at 1 in the morning, Mr. Blood? Come on now, tell us where all is. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Boulder was lying there, dead. See, something hit on the forehead, huh? 
believe the detective from yesterday provides similar testimony. He said that master mask struck one on the head from behind. Of course, since that lieutenant turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Huh. No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I really was attacked. We'll find out if what he says is true or not during cross examination. I got that, Mr. Twight. Don't go eat just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll, cup, I'll treat you to another cup of my special beer. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. Who was the suspicious shadow? If there was a thousand of me, and even one knew, I tell you, trust me. His, dod his dodging all of our questions is not helping us win this case. Okay, then. How was the victim, Mr. Bullard, at the time? What do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. Well, what do you think, Mr. Wright? <sighs> Forget it. Do you need something? No. You were just waiting for what? Well, I was watching Chuck by his phone. Well, I have no idea how much longer this is going to be. Do what? Isn't most of the ice cream in the big freezer? I mean, I mean the new free, the new freezer. We just bought two things of it. Yeah, I think there's a little bit. I don't know. I don't even know if we have any anymore. Are we good to continue what we're doing? Continue whenever, Dylan. Your forehead. Yes, I was hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. It was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. Do you remember anything about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was fast and a powerful hit. So I think I was a little dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Delight even grasped what you were asking. Yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Maybe that would knock some sense back into him. That? Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my mask to mask costume, of course. Oh, right, Jump to Muller. Mask to mask. Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as mask to mask. And then, I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. Nick, did you know about this? He never told Might me this. Might have been together the whole time. Yeah, I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me, either. Even I didn't know that. It seems I let a friend very love to keep secrets. 
I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait. That's not right. Um, you know how some of these things just be mine? Huh. My secret cup of coffee is staring up at me cold. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. Why were you dressed up as Mask the Mask? Why? Because I'm Mask the Mask, of course. What are you talking about? Mask the Mask Trial is being held next door. Ah, uh, yes, I, I guess so. Well, anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the Mask the Mask issue. So, I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. Oh, boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took a lot longer than I expected. Took a lot longer? What is he talking about? Um, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught in the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. What the fuck did you say? Yes. You were the one that hid the body in the safe! Um, well, yeah. Inconceivable! Inconceivable! Why? Just... Huh? Question. When did someone toss their dirty shoe shirts in the washing machine? Uh, what? Yeah, it's was simple. When you take them off. As usual, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hid the body because he's the murderer? Huh. So you're not as stupid as you thought. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. White, you don't mean that you know about this whole safe business? Do, do you? Uh, well, yes. Why am I the only one down in the loop here? Witness, add this to the freaking testimony. Uh-oh, looks like a stone front is moving in over the fair weather judge. Why did you hide the body in the safe, anyway? Well, because it wouldn't fit in a drawer. <laughs> Why are you hiding the body in the first place? It's not exactly what I meant. When I saw that corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. Huh. You get a simple reason for that. It's because you killed him. That's why I spent ten minutes hiding the body. Mm, that certainly makes more sense. Mm. Oh, ten minutes. What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body and spend ten whole minutes to do it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh. Hey, Nick, if you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the court record and present some evidence. We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? It's not much in his testimony, either. I bet you he's still hiding something. Wouldn't be surprised. We'll just have the jaw out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. Hit the body in the safe. 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 Why would you hide a body in the safe? Maybe, just maybe, because the buzzer went off? Hmm, maybe, I don't know.
Your Honor, could you please take a look at this record? Your Honor. What might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, the security team is supposed to come running. And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once at 1.02 a.m. What? If Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer, he would have ran as soon as the buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. <laughs> Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there was security personnel in the building. Up until one year ago, my client was working as the chief of security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. But as it turns out, the guard never came. That was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend and wasn't anywhere in the vicinity was not something Mr. Delight could have known. Again, remember who we're dealing with here. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't notice the buzzer going off. This buzzer is extremely loud. There's no way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Let's hear you, dude. Recall the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt dazed. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. Unconscious? So I fainted? That's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. So, so what are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious, it can only mean that there was another person in that room. That's right, whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed the buzzer. Hold on the call, Mr. White, this, this is... This is preposterous. It was this kid, Ron Delight, the one who killed Kane Bull. Then who pressed the buzzer? It, it was... The victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. It's a game bullet and the buzzer himself. What's your opinion on this, Mr. White? I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene, but how? Can I prove that it wasn't Kane Bullet who sounded the buzzer? Mm, can I? I hope I can. And that says death at 1 a.m. And for going super specifically, this says it's sound at 1 a.m. 2 a.m. 1 or 2 a.m. Yeah, I mean, that's... If you don't have anything better, I don't feel like that's terrible. Ah, uh, it's a little bad. It's gonna keep saying that, isn't it? Did you get that section? What? Yeah, I don't know. Bam, autopsy report. Well, what do you think, Mr. Godot? <laughs> I can hear it. The sound of a buzzer. Huh? It's going off inside your head at this very moment. The emergency buzzer of your heart. 
Is it really? What do you mean? Maybe just a little. Mr. White, you need to think more carefully. Okay, fuck you. Oof. Guess there goes your chance to become an ace detective. Come on, listen more carefully. Maybe the truth will be elegantly revealed. Creepy, you sound like Detective Acme. The defense of pain is this, Your Honor. Well, if it's not the death thing, then I don't really have much else on the buzzer. I have the buzzer itself. Don't have fingerprints on it. I assume he's not wearing gloves? I don't think I have a crime scene photo of him. Okay, there we go. I didn't notice that, so I know. I believe this is the piece of incontrovertible evidence you were looking for. The uh, emergency puzzle? There's some guy clue on it. A blues clue. Absolutely not. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought to what you say before, to what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. <laughs> now I'm the one who's clueless. This button has no fingerprints on it. Mr. Bullard really pressed it himself. Naturally, he would have left his fingerprints behind. What a delight to obviously wipe them off. Why would he? A guard could have come in at any moment. He, he took that button, I know he did. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Mask to Mask. And Mask to Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have to wipe a button for your fingerprints? Order! 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 Huh, let's see. I've been forced to eat crow. Yummy. I wonder what blend number crow flavored coffee is. Oh, the real killer was that thing. Why would that person press the emergency puzzle? Shouldn't they have run away without pulling themselves in extra danger? No, because they, they're framing. What's with this awkward silence all of a sudden? Huh. Looks like you're fresh out of polar tricks. They're on to you, Nick. Just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Real culprit killed Mr. Bullard at around 1 a.m. And Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place, right? Maya said that, but oh well. The killer clobbered Mr. Delight and then sounded the buzzer. Even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. Security was supposed to respond. Hmm. I'm not Mr. Delight. That's all you have to say. Farewell, then. Oh, you've got some guts. I like that air pump. Why did this real killer sound the buzzer? To call the security guard! Duh! The killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. You mean to say that the killer guard called the guard on purpose? Yes. Although, as it turned out, he never showed up. Because he was getting his clock cleaned at the time. Huh. What a touching story. You're saying the killer had to change a heart and called the guard to turn himself in. No, I'm not. When that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The defendant, Ron Delight, who was out cold. And the third person, 
the real killer. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim and Ron Delight. And if any security guards came running in at that time, they would think that I was the murderer. Yes, that was precisely the real killer's objective. To frame Ron Delight for the murder. Order, order, order. <laughs> Proceed. I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do a spit take with a cup of coffee. Miss Wright, who was it? Who was it trying to frame me? Uh, wait, wait a second. I'm the one and only Master Mass. Nick, you mean the real killer is... We're going to drag that person in here right now. But, but, who is it? I don't have any solid proof yet, but think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew that he had been called to KB security that night. So, the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bullard. Now that's the accusation, Mr. White. Who was it that, Mr. Had that friend, Mr. Juan Delight, for the murder of Kane Bullard? It I mean, the penguin, Your Honor. I mean, judging by everything we've seen, look at me. Detective Luke at me. He's the only one who could have done it. Ace Detective. Luke at me? You mean Master Mass did it? Your Honor, the person being tried in the court next to us is not Master Mask at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Cain Bullard. Order, order, Mr. White, explain yourself. Theft and murder. Which is the more serious crime? They're not even close. Murder is the more serious crime, of course. It's capital crime subject to a capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday, if you would. When Luke Abney confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course, the famous set move was unmasked as well. Masked mask. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. To be found guilty? Master Mask had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lord Lee Taylor. In other words, being found guilty as Master Mask was Luke Atme's airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. A guilty verdict? As an alibi? You know, it's almost time. For what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial, after all. We're going to stop this trial and start that one. We need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the detective was on who committed the murder. Luke Admix has indeed tracked to the attention of the entire country. If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Lai would be left with no grounds for appeal. Not really sure about this. Huh. The bets will be good when your life is the ante. Ante? Ante. Like ante up? Shut up. I, I know what I'm saying. I know words. Mr. Wright, I believe in you. Mr. Light. I don't believe in you. <laughs> so, so, please, I'm begging you. Thanks, but my decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? Oh, hi, Mia. Phoenix. Hmm? What was that? Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client, take the path of trust. That that voice, it sounds... This has happened to us a lot. Mamiya, Phoenix. Your Honor, the defense requests an immediate recess. Huh. So that's your answer, huh? 
Play ball. Exercise as well. The court will now take a 20 minute recess. And accidentally open the court record too. Mr. White will return. Please summon Mr. Luke at me to the stand. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Hey, it's killed number five. Oh, hey, look, look who it is. <laughs> well, Sir Detective at me. Ha! Ha ha ha! I have to say, Mr. Payne, you performed splendidly. Huh? Oh, no, Sir Detective at me. Y you are the one who. I wonder who's the defense. Oh, God, who's this? <laughs> You do his voice. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. This court finds the defendant. Look at me. Objection. Fuck you. Wait. Don't hand down your verdict yet. Please. Who sent Phoenix into that? Well, well, sir lawyer. Welcome to my courtroom. Who's this loser, huh? <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. And I wish to file an accusation against this man, Luke Atme. A accusation? You accuse? That man is not mask to mask. I knew you were going to say that even though I didn't let you get it out. He's just a ruthless murderer. What? Oh, he's again angry. I, I want to see the defense attorney there. Well, thanks for watching this episode. Gabby the Gamer. I can't subscribe to God's have a multiple name. Inconceivable! Good... Night. Gabby the game night, Gabby the game night, Gabby the game night, yay. Come on and watch her play. New games every other day. If you subscribe now, you won't miss out on any of the action. So come on, click that subscribe button.